Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to another quick setup video. Today we're gonna set up this Victron Smart Solar Charger. This is the MPPT 7515, meaning 75 volts and 15 amps, Bluetooth capable. So as you can see we have three sets of terminals. The first one being the battery, the second one being the solar panels, and the third one being a load if you want to connect a light or another non-demanding load you can connect it right from here instead of the battery but remember that this is only for light loads like lights and uh, applications that do not require too much current alright so I already have a, a battery hooked up to it this is a DIY 12 volts battery as you can see here I pinned a video of uh, how I built this battery pack on the top right if you want to check it out. Alright, so I have it connected with these clips. Obviously, this is not a, an ideal setup. This is just to test it. This is definitely not how you want to do this. Alright, so as you can see, I have the positive of the battery hooked up to the positive of the solar terminal and the negative also to the negative terminal and as you can see we have this blinking blue light right here this means that the unit is on ready to pair this jumper right here is basically used to configure the output load I will put the information on the screen right now Alright, with that we're gonna go ahead and connect this to the app and see our settings. Launch the Victron app and as you can see it's gonna automatically scan and find any Victron devices in the surroundings and if it doesn't you're gonna go ahead and tap on the orange search button on the bottom right corner but we have it discover so we're just gonna go ahead and click on it and as you can see it's gonna connect to our unit we're gonna go ahead and enter the password you can find the password in the paperwork included with the unit alright go ahead and enter the pin and then click on pair and we are connected and as you can see the current version is version 1.60 and the new one is 1.66 so from here you're gonna go ahead and hit update and it's gonna update the unit to the latest version alright so update and now the unit is being updated and you can see the status light blinking Alright, as you can see, firmware updated to version V1.66. Alright, so now we can go ahead and continue and we're gonna reconnect. Alright, instant readout, enable Bluetooth instant readout on this product to see the most relevant values immediately on the device list. We can enable it for now we have our main page this is gonna show you a summary of everything I don't have a solar panel connected so that's why there is no input here it would display how many watts we have charging here is the solar information that's the voltage coming from the solar panel and the current and the next section is the voltage of the battery if it was charging it would display the charge voltage and the current at which it's being charged alright and on state we have off and then we have the load output that's gonna be the last connection right here for light loads and it is on right now if we were to connect anything here it's gonna show us uh, the power being drawn by that device so why don't we go ahead and test it 
for this test I'm just going to use a small light bulb this is from a car and then I'm going to connect this directly to the load alright so as you can see the light bulb is lit up and it's drawing right now 3.1 amps and it's uh, 38 watts and if you check on the battery section it's now showing on the current negative 3 amps you don't want to use a heavy load on this you want to use it directly to the battery if it draws a lot of current alright that was a quick demonstration alright why don't we go ahead and explore the settings so we have the gear on the top right to access the settings and for some reason it's still saying update available we're gonna leave that to the side for now alright so why don't we go to the battery and as you can see you can choose the battery voltage right now it's set to 12 volt you also have an option for 24 volts and if you have a, a higher voltage the 100 volts version those actually support up to 48 volts this battery is of 12 volts so I'm gonna select 12 volts and then to confirm the change you're gonna have to enter the pin this is just for an extra layer of security and then you're gonna hit enter alright and then you have the current it's already set to 15 because this is what the controller is rated for and uh, you have a battery preset you can use a user preset or you can select pre-made custom presets from this list so if you want to set up your own you can use user defined and you can go ahead and enter your own voltage depending on the battery you're using the absorption voltage is basically a charge voltage where it's gonna really charge it fast and then the float and equalization are like a throttling options at the end of the charge when the battery is almost fully charged it's gonna go ahead and trickle and make sure the battery is charged up safely and then you have automatic equalization which is not required on all batteries here it's disabled and then you have a manual equalization function that you can start just by pressing the start now button you even have temperature compensation in case uh, the temperature is not completely accurate and then you have a low temperature cutoff which is disabled alright I usually rock this like that but uh, yeah I'm planning to get a 100 volt version of this unit because I'm planning to use a 48 volt setup but this was just a quick demonstration I will make a more in-depth video when I get the 100 volt version but yeah as you can see this is uh, it's uh, not bad it's a really good system as you can see you have your main page where you will be spending most of the time looking at how much wattage the batteries are being charged up and then you have your history it's gonna display each day and the amount of uh, charge you had and depending on how much sun you're gonna have each day is gonna be different and that's really nice to have right here and trends this is a graphical representation of the relationship between the current and the voltage and as you can see that's really nice to have you can zoom in and out but uh, yeah it looks really good but again I will be making an in-depth video but it's gonna be on the 100 volt version so subscribe and stay tuned if you have any questions do not hesitate to put it in the comments thank you for watching I will see you on the next one